Marko 10:22 20 to 22 20 mpaka 22 Mark 12 22 Marko 10:22 There were seven brothers the first one took a wife and died leaving no children verse 21 the second brother married her and died leaving no children and they died likewise verse 22 and so all seven married her and died and left no children last of all the woman died also Marko 12:22 mpaka 22 basi kulikuwa na ndugu saba wa kwanza akatoa mke akafa asiache mzao 21 wa pili naye akataa akafa wala yeye akuacha mzao na watatu kadhalika 22 hata na wote saba wasiache mzao mwisho wa wote yule mwanamke akafa naye Let's go to 2 King 5:27 Twende wafalme wa pili 5 mstari wa 27 Second King 5:27. Wafala me apiri 5:27. Therefore the leprosy of Naaman shall cling to you and your descendant forever. And he went out from his presence leprous as white as snow. Wafala me apiri 5:27. Basi ukoma wa Naamani uka utashuka utakushukea wewe na wazao wako hata melele naye akaondoka usoni pake mwenye ukoma kama theluji Father thank you for the reading of your word Baba asante kwa usomaji wa neno lako has the final say Neno lako lina hukumu ya mwisho It is a and amen Ni ndio naamina Lose everyone Fungua kila mmoja that is on site ambaye yuko hapa na ambaye yuko mtandaoni Do what no man can do Fanya ambacho hamna mtu aweza kufanya. And the church of God shout amen. Na kanisa la Mungu sema amina. Hallelujah. 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 I want to talk to you what I titled breaking generational and ancestral curses. Nataka kuzungumza na nyinyi kitu ni kichwa cha habari kuvunja laana za vizazi na laana za mababu. Breaking generational and ancestral curses kuvunja laana za vizazi na laana za mababu breaking generational and ancestral curses kuvunja laana za vizazi na laana za mababu or you can put it how to break generational and ancestral curses au mnaweza ukaiweka na jinsi ya kuvunja laana za vizazi na laana za mababu how to break generational and ancestral curses jinsi ya kuvunja laana za vizazi na laana za mababu how to break generational and ancestral curses jinsi ya kuvunja laana za mababu na laana za vizazi you may have your seat niweza kuketi Today is the last day of breaking evil covenant and curses. Leo ndio siku ya mwisho ya kuvunja laana ovu na maagano maovu. And I want to submit to you that there is such a thing called generational curses and ancestral curses. Na nataka kuwasilisha kwenu kitu kinachoitwa laana za vizazi na laana za mababu. What are generational curses? Laana za vizazi ni nini? What are generational curses? Laana za vizazi ni nini? There are curses that pass on from one person to another ni laana ambazo hupita kutoka kwa mtu mmoja kwenda kwa mtu mwingine there are cases that pass on from one person to another ni laana ambazo huwa zinavyoeleka kutoka kwa mtu mmoja kwenda kwa mtu mwingine or from a predecessor to his successor ama kwa yule mwanzilishi na yule anayefuatia or from a predecessor to his successor au kwa yule mwanzilishi na yule anayefuatia Just like these seven brothers. Kama hawa kaka saba. They first married a wife. Wa kwanza alioa mke. And he died. Na akafa. Without a child. Bila mtoto. And he died untimely. Na alikufa kabla ya wakati. Now the same thing happened to the second brother. Sasa kitu hicho hicho katokea kwa kaka wa pili. According to tradition. Kulingana na hizo tamaduni. According to their tradition. Kulingana na tamaduni wao. When a brother die, kaka akifariki without having a child. Bila kuwa na mtoto. 
the next brother should marry the same woman on behalf of the dead brother on behalf of the dead brother so that he will raise an offspring for the dead brother that was their culture and tradition and because of that culture and tradition remember it is a covenant that culture and tradition has become a covenant that propagated this curse. That propagated this curse. So there are even some cultures and tradition that breed evil covenant that represent evil covenant in families. In villages, kwenye vijiji, in communities, kwenye jamii, in clans, kwenye ukoo, and nations, na mataifa. any evil covenant, Kila agano ovu, curses, lana, whether generational or foundational, ya ya they shall be broken today. 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 They Different families are going through the same. Different communities are suffering the same. Different clans are suffering the same. Where you see people die at a certain age. People die die at a certain month. One of my daughters sent me a picture of her daughter yesterday. Where the child had an allergy. And it was like an inflammation. Where her eyes we swole up. Everything we cover. Kila kitu he said, Papa. Akasema, Papa. Every year at this time. Kila mwaka katika majira haya. My child will come back from school. Binti yangu akirudi kutoka shuleni. With her eyes swollen. Macho yake yamevimba. Face covered. Sura imefunikwa. Every year at this particular time. Kila mwaka katika majira kama haya. That is a sign of a curse. Ni ishara kwamba ni laana. That is a sign of curse. Hiyo ni ishara ya laana. And there are some families. Na kuna baadhi ya familia. People don't get married properly. Watu haolewi wengine kwenye ndoa kamilifu. Everyone we bear children. Kila mtu atazaa mtoto. Outside wedlock. Kabla ya kuolewa. You will have children. Utapata watoto. But there is no proper marriage. Lakini hakuna ndoa haya. You will have children with different women. Utapata watoto na wanawake tofauti tofauti. Different men. Wanaume tofauti tofauti. And if you manage to even marry. Na hata ukifanikiwa kuolewa au kuoa. You will have concubine. Lazima utakuwa na michepuko. That becomes. Hiyo inakuwa. The pattern in that family. Ni mfumo katika hiyo familia. That becomes. Hiyo inakuwa. The pattern in that clan. Ni mfumo kwenye ukoo. That becomes. Hiyo inakuwa. The pattern in that community mfumo kwenye jamii any form of generational curse kila aina ya laana za vizazi any form of a sensual curse aina yote ya laana za mababu sabiri folk itatenguliwa 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 shout the loudest amen piga kelele amina kubwa the evil pattern in the families of these seven brothers was not only the marriage, the wrong marriage of a brother we have to marry the wife of his late brother just to raise children for his late brother. And when he raised children for his late brother, how about him? How about his own life? Are you hearing me? Meaning he will have to live on behalf of his late brother. Which was an evil covenant. There are people suffering from evil covenant. As a result of wrong traditions and culture. Are you hearing me? Here 
in this family of these seven brothers hapa kwenye hii familia ya kaka saba you are seeing evil covenant propagated by evil culture and and tradition ambayo yamepangiliwa na tamaduni na mila ovu now the repercussion of the evil culture and tradition is the case matokeo ya hiyo tamaduni na mila ovu ni laana so when there is evil culture kopana kopa na tamaduni ovu and evil tradition na mila ovu case will begin to breed laana zitaanza kudhihirika whether you are aware about, you are aware of it or not wewe unafahamu ama haufahamu is it is something that has been existing ni kitu ambacho kimeshakuepo. Lakini mshukuru Mungu. Leo itakuwa siku ya mwisho. Laana za namna hiyo hazitaonekana tena maishani mwako. Nasema leo itakuwa siku ya mwisho. Leo itakuwa siku ya mwisho. itakuwa siku ya mwisho. Shout the loudest amen. Shout the loudest amen. What are generational cases that is where I am. Lini lana za vizazi hapo ndipo nilipo. Number two definition they are unpleasant events. Aina ya pili ni matukio matukio yasoe yasoe yasopendeza. They are unpleasant events. Ni matukio yasiyopendeza that occur in a family. Ambayo hutokea kwenye familia. They are unpleasant events. Ni matukio yasiyoridhisha. Things that the family don't want. Vitu ambavyo familia haitaki. People will die suddenly watu watakufa vifo vya ghafla no family want that hakuna familia inayotaka hivyo that is unpleasant hayo ni yasiyo ridhisha you see a child die unaona mtoto anakufa that is unpleasant hiyo ni sio ridhisha so they are unpleasant event that occur in a family kwa kuna matukio yasiyo ridhisha yanatokea kwenye familia which becomes part of the history ambayo inakuwa sehemu ya historia of the family ya hiyo familia which becomes part of the history ambayo inakuwa sehemu ya historia of the family ya hiyo familia today we are reading the history of this seven brothers family leo tunasoma historia ya familia yao makaka saba today we are reading their history leo tunasoma historia yao i don't know which history you remember about your family sijui ni historia gani unakumbuka kuhusu familia yako or you were told au uliambiwa that have been happening kwamba ilikuwa ikitokea in the families of your father side kwenye familia upande wa baba yako or mother side ama upande wa mama yako what can you remember that is not good happening kitu gani ambacho unakumbuka ambacho sio kizuri na kinatokea you must ask yourself lazima ujiulize what is it that is happening now that we don't want ni nini ambacho kinatokea sasa ambacho sisi hatukihitaji if you can answer it kwa kama unaweza kujibu that is the sign of generational curse hiyo ni ishara ya laana ya vizazi but this morning lakini asubuhi ya leo we are here to break the curse tupoacha kuvunja laana wake up from your father side hiyo upande wa baba yako wake up from your mother side hiyo upande wa mama yako we reverse the curse tunageuza hiyo laana we reverse the curse tunageuza hiyo laana Are you there? Uko hapo. If you are there say yes. Kama upo hapa sema ndio. If you are there say yes I'm here. Kama upo sema ndio nipo hapa. Eh eh number number 3. Number 3. They are unpleasant event in the family. Matukio sio pendeza kwenye familia. Business. Biashara. Establishment. Business establishment. Katika kuanzisha biashara. Community. Jamii. Church. Kanisa. Or nation au taifa which follow specific patterns ambao yanafuata mfumo fulani it follows specific patterns yanafuata mfumo fulani it follows specific patterns yanafuata mfumo fulani there are some communities kuna baadhi ya jamii if you try to build a good house you will die ukijaribu kujenga nyumba nzuri utakufa if you try to bring development in that community everything will shut down Ukijaribu kuleta maendeleo kwenye hiyo jamii kila kitu kitafungwa. If they don't kill you, wasipokuua. Or if the curse doesn't kill you, au hiyo laana isipokuua wewe, you will lose your stream of income. Utapoteza vyanzo vyako vya mapato. You are source of livelihood. Mambo vyanzo vya mahitaji yako ya maisha. So there are different evil patterns. Kuna mifumo mbalimbali miovu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number 4. Number 4. There are inherited curses. Kuna laana za kurithi. The last up to third and fourth generation. Ambazo huenda baki kizazi cha tatu mpaka kizazi cha nne. Generational curses are inherited curses. Laana za vizazi ni laana za kurithi. The first brother. Kaka wa kwanza. Died. Alikufa without a child. Bila mtoto. The second brother inherited it. Wa pili akarithi. 
the third brother inherited it. Kaka watatu naye akarithi. Say I refuse to inherit. Sema nakataa kurithi. Family cases. Lana za familia. Community cases. Lana za jamii. Village cases. Lana za vijiji. Constitution cases. Lana za majimbo. I refuse to inherit. Nakataa kurithi. I reject it. Nakataa. 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 I reject it. Number five. There are cases that tend to be selective. Kuna lana ambazo zimekuwa katika machaguo. There are cases that tend to be selective. Kuna lana ambazo zimekuwa zikichagua as it follows a specific pattern. Kama inafuata mfumo maalum. They are selective. Zinachagua. They goes after great people. Zinafuatia watu wakuu. They goes after good people. Zinafuatia watu wazuri, watu wema. They are selective. Zinachagua. As it follows specific pattern. Inafuata mfumo fulani maalum. They can be predicted because of the pattern they follow. Zinaweza kudhaniwa kulingana na mfumo zinaofuata. They can be predicted. Zinaweza kutabiriwa. Remember one many many but earlier this year a young man ran to me nakumbuka mapema mwaka huko na kijana alikimbia kwangu he said i'm the only one remaining in my family akasema ni mimi tu ndio nimebaki kwenye familia yangu not as if i am the eldest sio kama mimi ndio 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 mkubwa i am not the eldest mimi hata sio ndio mkubwa but can i tell you something lakini naweza kuambia kitu all of them died by having stomach problem wote walikufa kwa tatizo la tumbo and right now i have the same stomach problem na sasa hivi na mimi na tatizo hilo hilo la tumbo he ran to me alikimbia kwangu he said i am sensing my death anasema nahisi kifo changu because this is a pattern kwa sababu huu ni mfumo i am the only one remaining nimebaki mimi tu peke yangu he said i don't know what to do anasema sijui cha kufanya i told him jesus is your answer nikamwambia yesu ndio jibu lako you are in the right place upo kwenye sehemu sahihi i told him nikamwambia i'm going to pray for you nitaenda kuombea i'm pleading mercy na kuomba rehema and after that na baada ya hapo you will check the stomach ache now utaangalia ile shida maumivu ya tumbo sasa hivi you will never see it again hautaiona tena so i prayed for him kwa hiyo nikamwombea and pleaded mercy on behalf of that family na nikaomba rehema kwa niaba ya familia yake lo and behold na tazama i told him check nikamwambia tazama check the Ka- stomach ache kagua wewe matumaumu ya tumbo. Thank God you say you came with it. Namshukuru Mungu ambaye alisema umekuja maumivu. But I told you you are not going back with it. Lakini mwambie hauwezi kurudi nayo maumivu. Ay 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 ay. As you came this morning. Kama ambavyo umekuja asubuhi ya leo. With different cases from your generation. Na laana mbalimbali kutoka kwenye kizazi chako. You are not going back home with it. Au rudi nazo nyumbani. Then he checked. Anaka kagua. He said I didn't see anything. Akasema sioni kitu. I told him go and wait. Nikamwambia nenda kasubiri. Maybe you are guessing maybe to come back. Labda unadhani labda unahisi niweze karudi tena. Go and sit down. Nenda kake kazi chini. After some minutes. Baada ya dakika kadhaa. You check again. Utaangalia tena. Whether you will still see it. Kama utaenda uje kuiona tena. He checked. Akakagua. He didn't see. Hakuona. Then I told him. Nikamwambia. Today. Leo. You are family. Familia yako. You are clan. Uko wako has been delivered. Imefunguliwa from cases of sudden death. Kwa lana ya vifo vya ghafla. True stomach ache. Ma kupitia maumivu ya tumbo. I am here speaking to someone. Niko hapa nazungumza na mtu. That is watching me. Ambaye anantizama. Or that is sitting here. Na ambaye amekaa hapa. Any generational curse. Lana yote ya kizazi. Any ancestral curse. Lana yote ya mababu. That I be holding your family. Ambaye mko kusikilia familia yako. I revoke it. Nai tengua. I revoke it. Nai tengua. I revoke it. 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 In the name of Jesus. What's in the name of Jesus? I revoke it. In the name of Jesus. What's in the name of Jesus? I revoke it. In the name of Jesus. What's in the name of Jesus? I revoke it. In the name of Jesus. What's in the name of Jesus? I revoke it. In the name of Jesus. What's in the name of Jesus? I revoke 
Yesu. I rebuke it. Not in the blood of Jesus. What name is Yesu? I rebuke it. Not in the name of Jesus. What sin is Yesu? I rebuke it. Not in the blood of Jesus. What name is Yesu? I rebuke it. Not in the blood of Jesus. Number six. Number six. There are cases that come as a result of the sins. Kuna lana zinazokuja kama matokeo ya dhambi. As a result of the sins kama matokeo ya dhambi committed by those who occupy. Zilizofanya na wale ambao who occupied positions. Ambao wameshikilia nafasi of being the head. Ya kuwa vichwa. There are cases that come as a result of the sins committed by those who occupied positions kuna laana zinakuja kwa sababu ya dhambi za wale ambao wameshikilia nafasi of being the head ya kuwa vichwa lamentation 57 maombolezo 57 see our fathers have seen see our baba zetu walitenda dhambi fathers are the head of families baba ni vichwa vya familia our fathers have sins and are no more but we bow their iniquity Mambolezo 75 Baba zetu walitenda dhambi hata hawapo na sisi tumeyachukua maovu yao Some of our fathers worshiped idol Baadhi ya baba zetu waliabudu mizimu And the Bible said thou shall not bow down to a graven image Na nasema kwamba mtoto kwa sadamu ya kuumbwa And they bow down to it Na walisujudia I'm a jealous God Lakini mimi ni Mungu mwenye hasira Visiting the iniquities of thy father Natembelea uovu wa baba zenu on to first to the fourth generation there are no more but their sins have become a curse in the family lakini dhambi zao zimekuwa laana kwenye familia hear me ladies and gentlemen nisikie mabibi na mabwana if you come from a family kama umetokea kwenye familia where they worshiped idol ambao walikuwa naabudu mizimu you are under a curse uko chini ya laana whether you are aware of it or not you are under a curse hiyo unajua ama haujui uko chini ya laana But the good news is that Lakini habari njema ni kwamba Jesus said Yesu alisema There shall be no more curse Hakutakuwa na laana tena But the throne of the lamb Kwa sababu yetu ya mwana kondoo shall be upon it Itakuwa juu yake I said there shall be no more curse Nasema hakutakuwa na laana There shall be no more curse Hakutakuwa na laana From today Kuanzia leo From today Kuanzia leo There shall be no more curse Hakutakuwa kuna laana Shout the loudest amen Bila kelele amina kubwa Shout the loudest amen Bila kelele amina kubwa Shout the loudest amen Bila kelele amina kubwa Revelation 22 verse Pray, and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and of the lamb shall be in it and his servant shall serve him Bala patakuwa na laana yeyote tena na kiti cha enzi cha Mungu na cha mwana kondoo kitakwamo ndani yake Are you there? Uko hapo Is that what he's saying? Ndivyo anavyosema Wala hapatakuwa na laana yeyote tena na kiti cha enzi cha Mungu na cha mwana kondoo kitakuwa wamo ndani yake na watumwa wake watatumikia There shall be no more curse Hakutakuwa na laana tena Are you hearing me? Unasikia? There shall be no more Yes. Hakutakuwa na laana yoyote tena. So that you will serve God. Ili uweze kumtumikia Mungu. With peace. Kwa amani. So that you will serve God. Ili uweze kumtumikia Mungu. And see the advantage of serving God. Na kuona ile umuhimu wa kumtumikia Mungu. So that you know be serving God and look as if you are not serving God. Sio wewe unamtumikia Mungu na inafaa inaonekana kama vile unamtumikia Mungu. Because there is a curse. Kwa sababu kuna laana. So when there is a curse you can be serving God but there will be no evidence. Hata kama kuna laana unakuwa unamtumikia Mungu lakini kuna kuwa hamna ushahidi. To show that you are serving God. Ya kuonyesha kwamba unamtumikia Mungu. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? Many of you are asking yourself a lot of questions. Wengine mnaujiuliza maswali mengi. Why are things not changing? Kwa nini I am praying. Naomba. I am living a holy life. Naishi maisha matakatifu. But things are not changing. Lakini vitu havibadiliki. What have I done? Nimefanya nini? What have I not done? Nini ambacho sijafanya? It could be a curse. Inaweza kuwa ni laana. And we are here to break it. Na tupo hapa kwa ajili ya kuivunja. I say we are here to break it. Nasema niko hapa kwa ajili ya kuivunja. We are here to break it. Tupo hapa kwa ajili ya kuivunja. I reverse the curse. Na deuza hiyo laana. Shout it out as it be. Piga kelele amina kubwa. Shout it out as it be. Kubwa. 
What are ascent trackers? Lana za mababu ni zipi? What are ascent trackers? Lana za mababu ni zipi? There are cases which manifest in the life of all the offspring of an ancestor. Ni lana ambazo hutokea kwa uzao wote wa mababu. There are cases which manifest in the life of all the offspring of an ancestor. Ni lana ambazo hutokea katika uzao wote wa mababu. Yes. Ndio. We just read when Elisha cursed Gehazi. Tulisoma pale ambapo Elisha alimlaani Gehazi. And he said the leprosy of Naaman shall click upon you and your descendants. Na akasema ukoma wa Naaman utakuwa juu yako pamoja na uzao wako. That became an ascent trackers. Hiyo ikawa ni lana ya mababu. Meaning the offspring people with, that will come after Gehazi will also be leprous. Ina maana huyo ni uzao ambao utakuja baada ya Gehazi nao watakuwa wakoma. And those children will look innocent na watoto ambao hata watakuonekana hawana hatia but they don't know lakini hawajui how the case came to be lana ilitokeaje we call it innocent victims tunaita wahanga wasio na hatia many of us and many of you are innocent victims wengi wetu na wengi wenu ni wahanga msio kwa na hatia of what you are suffering kwa kile mnachoteseka nacho i pray for you ninakuombea whether you are innocent or not innocent hiyo ni hauna hatia ama si hauna hatia by the mercies of god kwa rehema za mungu let that case be reversed acha hiyo lana igeuzwe and this kind of course does not need to operate whether you are aware or not na hizi laana za namna hii hazihitaji kufanya kazi wewe unajua ama haujui but because lakini kwa sababu your ancestors suffered babu zako waliteseka the same you have to suffer it na wewe unatakiwa kuteseka hivyo hivyo but you will not suffer it again lakini hautateseka tena number 2 there are non discriminating cases na mabili ni laana ambazo hawezi kuzielezea there are non discriminating cases Nila, travel through the bloodline of a family. Ni lana ambazo uweze kuzielezea na zinasafiri katika mfumo wa familia. It travel through the bloodline of a family. Zinasafiri kupitia mfumo wa damu wa familia. It travel through the bloodline of the family. Zinasafiri kupitia mfumo wa damu wa familia. People suffer the same similar sickness. Watu wanateseka magonjwa ya namna hiyo hiyo. People suffer pressure. Watu wanateseka na chinikizo la damu. Both the father, the mother, the children. Wote baba, mama na watoto. They always suffer eye problems. Wanatazeka matatizo ya macho. They always suffer barrenness. Siku zote wanapitia utatasa. Are you hearing me? Wanasikia? They suffer one thing or the other. Wanateseka kitu kimoja ama kingine. Because it is in the bloodline. Kwa sababu ipo katika kizazi. Of a family. Ya familia. Tribe. Kabila. Race. Tribe. Kabila. Race. Or a whole community. Jamia ama ujamii yote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every bloodline curse. Kila lana ya vizazi as a result of our sense struck curse. Kama matokeo ya lana ya mababu by the blood of Jesus. Kwa damu ya Yesu. I erase it in that your bloodline. Na futa kwenye kizazi chako. I erase it in your bloodline. Hai futa kwenye kizazi chako. I erase it in your bloodline. Hai futa kwenye kizazi chako. Number 3. Number tatu. There are genealogical cases that come as a result of the sin. Kuna laana ambazo zinakuja kama matokeo ya dhambi. There are genealogical cases that come as a result of the sin of parents or ancestors. Kuna laana ya kizazi ambayo inakuja kwa kutokana na dhambi za wazazi au za mababu. Genealogical cases. Laana za vizazi that come as a result. Ambazo zinakuja kama matokeo of the sin ya dhambi of parents or ancestors. Ya wazazi au mababu. As I have to be careful with what you are doing now. Na ndio maana takiwa makini na kile unachokifanya sasa. It will come after your children and your children children. Itakuja baada ya watoto wako na watoto wa watoto wako. For the Bible say whatever a man soweth he shall reap. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema chete apandacho mtu atavuna. It's not a prayer point but it is. Sio ombi lakini ndivyo ilivyo. The reality of life. Ni uhalisia wa maisha. Be a good man and a good woman. Kuwa mwanamke mzuri na mwanaume mzuri. For your children children will enjoy the goodness you have planted. Kwa sababu watoto watoto wako watafurahia ule wema ambao umeupanda. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? How to break generational and ancestral curses? Jinsi ya kuvunja laana za vizazi na za mababu. Number 1. Ya kwanza, acknowledge the sins of your forefathers. Tambua laana za babu wa babu zako. Acknowledge that there was a sin. Tambua kama ulikuwa kuna dhambi. 
If you don't acknowledge it it means you don't agree. Kama hauwezi kutambua ina maana hutakubaliana nayo. You don't believe it. Hauamini. And when you don't believe it you cannot even pray. Na usipoamini hauwezi hata kuomba. Because you, be, you believe that it does not exist. Kwa sababu unaamini kwamba haipo. Leviticus 26:39 to 42. Leviticus 26:39 to 42. Now read, and those of you who are left shall waste away in their iniquity in your enemy's land, also in their father's iniquities which are with them they shall waste away verse 40. But if they confess their iniquity and their and the iniquity of their fathers with their unfaithfulness in which they were unfaithful to me and that they also have walked contrary to me verse 41 and that i have and that i also have walked contrary to them and have brought them into the land of their enemies if their uncircumcised hearts are humbled and they accept their guilt verse 42 then i will remember my covenant with jacob and my covenant with isaac and my covenant with abraham i will remember and i will remember the land mambo ya alawi 26:39-42 na watu wa kwenu wataobaki watafifia kwa ajili ya uovu wao katika hizo nchi za adui zenu tena watafifia kwa ajili ya uovu wa baba zao pamoja nao 40 nao wataukiri uovu wao na uovu wa baba zao katika maasi yao walioyaasi juu yangu tena kutakuwa kwa sababu wameendelea kunishikilia kinyume mstari wa 41 mimi nami nimeendelea kuwashikilia kinyume wao na kuatia katika nchi ya adui zao lakini hapo kama mioyo yao isiyokuwa tohara ikinyenyekea nao wakubari adhabu ya uovu wao albana mbili ndipo nitakapokumbuka agano langu pamoja na Yakobo tena agano langu na Isaka tena agano langu na Ibrahimu nitalikumbuka nami nitaikumbuka nchi yao if you will confess on behalf of them kama utakili kwa niaba yao of your fathers baba zako on sin the bizarre of the land kwa niaba ya ardhi i will remember nitakumbuka are you hearing me unanisikia that is number one step hiyo ni hatua ya kwanza breaking generational and ancestral curse ya kuvunja laana za vizazi na za mababu number two number three Atoa ya pili. Assume the place of a priest. Assume the place of a priest. Dhani kwamba ina nafasi ya kuhani. Stand as a priest. Simama kama kuhani. Mm-hmm. Confess and wipe away these sins. Kili na ufute hizo dhambi. You are the one standing on that we stand on behalf of them and on behalf of your family. Ni wewe ndio utakayesimama kwa niaba yao na kwa niaba ya familia. Confess and wipe these sins. Kili na ufute hizo dhambi. One by one. Moja baada ya nyingine using the blood of Jesus. Kwa kutumia damu ya Yesu. Confess the the sins one by one. Kili hizo dhambi moja baada ya nyingine. Using the blood of Jesus. Kutumia damu ya Yesu. Number three. Number tatu. Pray for forgiveness of the sins of both the living and the dead. Omba msamaha kwa wote wanaoishi na waliokufa. Pray for forgiveness of the sins of both the living and the dead. Omba msamaha kwa wote waliokufa na walio hai. Yes. Ndio. Number four. Number nne. Confess and forsake your personal sins too. Kili na utubu dhambi zako pia. Your own personal sins. Dhambi zako binafsi. Confess it and forsake it. Kili na na usahau. Number 5. Number 5. Renounce, kana reject, kata and reverse the curse. Na ugeuze hiyo laana. Renounce, kana reject, na ukatae and reverse the curses. Na ugeuze hizo laana. The idols, mizimu and all evil vows or covenants. Na viapo vyote viovu na magano. The idols, mizimu and all evil vows or covenants. Na viapo vyote na magano. To renounce is simply to disown and disallow. Kukana maana yake ni kuvikataa na kutokuviruhusu. To renounce is simply to disown and disallow. Kukana ni maana yake kuvikataa na kutokuviruhusu. Number 6. Number 6. Bind the evil spirits assigned to carry out the terms of the curses and render them jobless. 
Nunua hizo by the evil spirit that assigned funga hizo roho ovu zilizotiwa zilizopewa mamlaka to carry out the terms of the curses kubeba hiyo masharti ya hizo laana because there are demons that are attached to curses and covenants kwa sababu kuna mapepo ambayo yameunganishwa katika laana na maagano bind it yafunge and render them jobless na uyafanye asiwe na kazi tena number 7 number 6 restitute restitute on behalf of the family Rejesha kwa niaba ya familia. Restitute on behalf of the family. Rejesha kwa niaba ya familia. For instance, if your forefathers or parents stole land property. Kwa mfano kama baba babu zako waliiba uh, ardhi. Money or other things that you can still see. Pesa ama vitu vingine ambavyo bado unaendelea kuviona. That you can still see. Bado ambavyo unaendelea kuviona. Return them instead of praying for forgiveness. Virudishe badala ya kuomba toba. Return people's land. Rudisha ardhi ya watu. Instead of praying for forgiveness. Badala ya kuomba msamaha. When you are still in possession of the stolen property. Kama bado unaendelea kumiliki hizo mali zilizoibiwa. Return them. Rudisha. Instead of struggling to pray. Badala ya kuangaika kuomba. Because some forefathers took land of people by force. Kwa sababu mababu zako walichukua ardhi za watu kwa lazima true con conning way kwa namna ya kutapeli number 8 number 8 close every back door funga kila mlango wa nyuma that has been opened by the devil to empty your life as a result of the curses ambayo imefungulia na shetani kumaliza maisha yako kama matokeo ya laana close every back door that has been opened by the devil funga kila mlango wa nyuma ambao umefungulia na shetani to empty your life as a result of the curses kumaliza maisha yako kama matokeo ya laana and receive your deliverance by faith na upokee ufungulivu wako kwa imani close every back door that have been opened by the devil funga kila mlango wa nyuma ambao umefunguliwa na shetani to empty your life as a result of the curses kumaliza maisha yako kama matokeo ya laana and receive your deliverance by faith na upokee ufungulivu wako kwa imani number 9 Number 8 Speak blessings into your life. Number 9 Tamka baraka kwenye maisha yako. To replace the curses that have been broken. Kama mbadala wa hizo laana ambazo zimeshavunjika. Speak blessings into your life. Tamka baraka kwenye maisha yako. Into your community. Kwenye jamii yako. Into your generation. Kwenye kizazi chako. To replace. Kubaliweka mbadala. The curses that have been broken. Wa hizo laana ambazo zimeshavunjika. Number 10. Number 10. Stay off anything that would re- revive the curse again. Kaa mbali na kitu chochote kinaweza kuhuisha hiyo laana tena. Stay off anything that would have would revive or wake up the curse. Kaa mbali na Kaa mbali na chochote ambacho kinaweza kuhuisha hiyo laana tena. Like sins. Kama dhambi. Any form of sin will revive the curse again. Namna aina yote ya dhambi inaweza kuhuisha hiyo laana tena. So stay off. Kwa kaa mbali from such thing. Kwa vitu vya namna hiyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. Christ Mandate TV Transforming Lives, Nations and the World.